You just heard Clockstep Multi follow a live drummer's groove and tempo, not the other way around. That short demonstration highlights a major new feature being released today called Follow Beat. It translates live or recorded drum performances into MIDI clock and analog sync signals that listen to the drummer and breathe with them. It works by receiving either MIDI or audio from the drums. How to set that up will be the focus of a follow-up video. In this video, we'll talk about how beat and tempo analysis work and show a few more examples. Follow beat doesn't simply jerk the tempo around. It listens and adapts to the drummer with a sense of musical swing, and it influences the drummer as part of a continuous feedback loop. The best part is that the drummer doesn't need to modify how or what they'll play, and the sole agency to change the tempo is theirs. The control ultimately rests with the human, not machine. There are multiple layers of analysis constantly running. Some layers respond immediately to micro fluctuations, adjusting to the drummer's natural groove and feel, while other layers observe longer rhythmic patterns and align more with the overall intentions of the drummer. Now you might be thinking after seeing the opening demonstration that hit tracking and analysis were being derived from the hi-hat, uh, since those hits were falling at the steadiest interval, but that's not the case at all. Tempo analysis was being driven solely by the kick and snare. Tracking doesn't need to be done on the pieces of the kit that you are hitting at regular intervals. Let's use just the snare for now and see how much tempo can be intentionally controlled. That shows how the snare is being tracked, but there's no need to play such a regular pattern. Usually just the kick and snare is all it takes for follow beat to adapt the tempo. And you will have noticed there that I'm also listening to the click. That's an important piece of the feedback loop I mentioned earlier. Now let's have a look at the elasticity setting. This determines how responsive the tempo is to your playing. Elasticity is the brain and heart of how tightly the tempo tracks you. Up to this point, I've been using the default setting, but if I reduce it, the tempo analysis provides a stiffer response. It doesn't respond as quickly or as much to micro fluctuations, and it resists more when I try to pull and push the tempo. That makes it very stable if you want to have it follow the small drift and feel of the drummer, but be protected from immediate large shifts in tempo due to accidental hits. At the highest setting, nearly every beat becomes a candidate for deciding on larger and more immediate tempo adjustments. Experiment with the elasticity setting to find the balance that's right for you. Note that there is always a limit to how fast intentional tempo changes can occur. As you try to intentionally change tempo, if a detected hit falls on a triplet boundary, it will not be used in tempo analysis. 
If you prefer playing without hearing the click, you can do that too. The auto mute click feature will count you in and then mute itself the instant a hit is detected. If you rest those hits for more than one bar, the click comes back until you start playing again. This mode can work well, especially if the synced music you're hearing has plenty of rhythmic content. However, if more latency is introduced into the feedback loop, it may cause some anomalies in how you play. For the tightest feedback loop, listen to Clockstep's own click. Here's an interesting experiment. I'll use a sync track that only plays tied hold notes without any other rhythmic cues. First, I'll turn follow beat off so the tempo stays static, and I'll mute the click so we can see how long I can stay aligned with the downbeat. As expected, it didn't take long before I drifted away. Now I'll turn follow beat back on, and with the click auto-muted, let's see how long I can stay aligned this time, or rather, how well the downbeat can follow me. A note about tempo detection. If you're playing a song with a triplet feel, enable the click's triplet function. It biases follow beats analysis towards triplet timing, even if you have the click itself only playing quarter notes. So I hope this overview answered a few of the larger questions. A video can't fully convey how it feels to play with it, but it should give you a sense of how follow beat works.